Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're playing Hazy Mind. It is a psychological horror, psychological thriller game. We'll find, we'll find out. So content warning, Hazy Mind is designed for an adult audience. The content, content isn't for everyone and will include topics such as suicide, depression, blood, murder, and strong language. If you acknowledge this warning, click to continue. I'm gonna turn the volume up a bit. All right, so we're probably gonna do 10 to 15 minutes of this and then just slowly put out episodes cause I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, so. This background music is something. My thoughts fragment my mind like shards of glass. I can feel each suicidal thought slicing me from within. I'm tired of battling with my own mind with, e which each, with each day growing increasingly burdensome antidepressants and sleeping pills my daily allies will yet again become today's escape from this world internally i'm screaming in pain but the fear of what death might bring holds me back is it worth the fight even when everything inside is pleading for surrender death seems like a relief but what if it's just a different kind of pain thoughts spinning in my mind but my heart keeps on beating wow My hallucinations morph into terrifying creatures squirming in my mind like worms offering no peace. Fear paralyzes me, leaving me in the darkness with only my thoughts for company. A bottle of pills in my hands, my heart pounding in my chest, a terrifying real reminder of the life I wish to end. I understand how strongly emotions overwhelm me. I understand how long I have thought about this, but my brain continues to look for reasons not to do it. In the end, my self-hatred still wins. The pills feel as icy as snow, their coldness seeps through my skin, swiftly sweeping away the last remnants of doubt. Closing my eyes, I swallow them one by one. My mind starts to fog from the pills I've taken. A strange moment of silence ensues. It's as if the world has slowed down its rotation, giving me time to reconcile with my fate. The sensation of the pills in my throat feels like a sharp blow to the back, a confirmation of the irreversible decision I've just made. The world starts to slowly fade away, as if someone is gradually tuning out the brightness, turning down the brightness of the TV. My conscience becomes foggy, thoughts mingle quickly, turning into meaningless chaos. I hear my own breathing, its cycle getting quieter and less frequent. The last thing I feel is the heaviness of my eyelids, much clo which close in involuntarily. I surrender to lifeless yet soothing oblivion. Sleep it comes like a wave, sweeping me into an impenetrable depth. I surrender without resistance. Suddenly, a glimmer sparks in the darkness, and I see a dream. The surrounding darkness starts morphing. Dreams within it stir, stories both frightening and familiar. There are scenes from my life, moments of both happiness and suffering. As each second passes, those images become more vivid, adopting shapes, colors, and sounds. Some of them are kind, reminding me of the times when I laughed and I was happy. There are dreams that pierce me, reminding me of what led me here. I dive deeper and deeper into the dream. It's like a journey through my own soul. And suddenly, in this endless depth, I begin to see light. It's a warm, muted glow that beckons me from the darkness. I'm drawn to this light like a moth enticed by fire. And when I touch this light, I can feel it start to fill me, rousing me from the dark sleep. My eyes, wow, my eyes open. I feel the solid surface of the bed comforting my body. Wow, the art change looks great. My head is still foggy, but it no longer pains me the way it did before. My consciousness slowly returns. Something is off. Everything around looks unfamiliar, even though I know it's my space. Memories spin in my head like flashing images, but I can't piece them together in a coherent whole. It's a feeling of emptiness, as if a part of me is missing. 
names, faces, moments. Everything is plunged into a disorganized mess deemed unreachable for my mind. I'm finding it harder to breathe. My mind screams, seeking answers I don't have. Everything around starts to seem distant and insignificant. I'm lost in my own world. Realization sets in. I have forgotten everything, who I am, where I'm from. My existence is erased. I'm too scared to move, to breathe, because even these sensations feel new and alien. With each breath, I attempt to remember, but it only results in greater panic. The world around me begins to crumble like an abandoned building eroding as time passes. I sense that I am moving further away from myself with each passing second. Fear wraps around me, squeezing my heart, and I can't find an escape. Gravity feels doubled. My body fails to resist, falling back onto the bed. The moment my body touches the bed, there's an instant relief. It's an unexpected calm in the midst of chaos. I feel the warmth of a foreign hand slowly passing through my hair. Despite consciousness stirring again, the desire to leave the comfortable sanctuary of my bed has disappeared. However, in the end, I decide to find out who is so tenderly guarding my peace. Hello. You've finally woken up. Damn, she speaks! You must be feeling lost and confused right now. Unsure of where you are and who I am. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. I need to tell you something that might be hard for you to hear, but it's important that you know. <gasps> Did we die? This isn't the first time this has happened. Oh. You've woken up with no memory before. Oh, okay. Every night, your memory is reset. You cannot remember yesterday or any day before that. After a failed suicide attempt, you went through a lot of stress. And that's why you can't remember things. Oh. What is this? How do I get here? Oh, okay. Who are you? Oh. I forgot to introduce myself. My apologies. My name is Marana. Your mom hired me to look after you, as every night you wake up oblivious to the world around you. My role is to be a beacon in the early hours to help you navigate through the confusion. Of course, I am also here to assist you in regaining your memory. By the way, my duty is to provide you with a guide on what to do when I'm not around and where to find essential items you might need. Here, this is the guide. As you can see, it's a bit worn out since you've used it prior. All right, we got an aid kit in your cabinet in the kitchen, straight down the corridor, then take a left, emergency, call 911, phone is on the table, address, we live in City Arc, but if street four. In case of emergencies, the first aid kit is in your cabinet at the very bottom. You'll instantly recognize it. It looks like a typical first aid kit. Just to be on the safe side, I've sketched a picture of it here in the guide, so you can be sure you found the right box. Oh, she's so nice. To get to the kitchen, you will need to leave your room, walk straight down the corridor, then take a left. That's where you'll find the kitchen. What I feel like this lady is like, um, evil or something. If something happens to either of us, dial 911. That's, That's the, the number, number for emergency, emergency services. services. Your, your phone, phone is on the table. table. The phone is switched on and fully charged. You've always had a knack for figuring out how to use it, so I'm sure you won't have any issues there. Dang. Even when we have no memory, she called our ass out. Hmm. What else was there? I feel, I feel like, like I'm forgetting, forgetting something. something. Oh, right. If you have to call an ambulance, you'll need to know your address. It's 4 Butiv Street, Ark City. Ark City? Then why City Ark? It might be a bit challenging to remember right now, so I understand. She needs to get this laminated. However... Everything I have just told you is written down on this note. Please, Please keep, it, keep safe. it safe and always have it with you. Okay? She's got a very kind voice. 
Okay. Great. You're doing very well. Now, to add a little joy to the moment, I've prepared something special for you. I didn't realize how much I like voice actors in games like this. I mean, especially English. It's very nice. I cooked your all time ah, dish. Toast toast with eggs. eggs. I've it had something to fuel your body. After eating, I can give you a tour around your room and help you discover more about your life that's been temporarily forgotten. So don't rush yourself. Eat at your own pace. <laughs> I'll be here. Well, since you're done with your meal, we have one more oh. thing to do. I didn't know I was eating there. You'll need to take these pills. They're antidepressants. They've been prescribed by a doctor to keep any panic attacks at bay. Without them, things could become difficult. And I don't want that for you. Unless this is a dream and these are super hard drugs. I'm going to end this here. I feel like this is a good spot. I feel like we're we're building up to something. So thank you so much for watching. Depending how YouTube takes this video, I may post more. I'd really love to. This game seems quite fun. Uh, not fun because you know the topic, but just yeah, I'm I quite enjoying the visual novel aspect of it. I think I've said it before. It's been a while since I've really enjoyed visual novels. Um, they they tire me out, but this one I really like as I said that this lady's speaking out loud and I can understand it uh, And I like the art style and I like it's not been super interactive, but it's been like interactive enough. So yeah, thank you so much for watching